Welcome back, family, friends, and followers, to another Dower Duo video. Today, we are going to be talking about hiker, hiker hacks. Hack. But before we go any further, please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. We have videos every other week, sometimes every week. Depends on how we're feeling and how busy we are with our schedule. But if you haven't done it already, click that little subscribe button. You really won't regret it. We promise. Welcome back everybody. Our first hiker hack for you today is going to be from our hiker trail family member, Smiley. Every breakfast, he did chia seeds, brownie mix, and he just mixed that into a Gatorade bottle for uh, just like this. And that was his breakfast. So it got him um, like all the nutrients from the chia seeds and then all the sugar and calories from the brownie mix. Lots of calories, and, lots and lots. Yeah, as you could imagine, um, we would throw in um, a quick instant coffee to yeah. make it like a little chocolate mocha. And so you just shake it up and bring it with you and that's a quick, easy breakfast. And so we've had a lot of questions because we put this in other videos. We had a lot of questions of people like, what is this and how do you make it? Or the little box of brownie mix, it's about four breakfasts. Um, so if you split that up in fours and then you just get a bag of chia seeds and I would do... Um, you just mix them in there? Yeah, I would just do like a about a fourth cup of chia seeds in there. Uh, you don't have to measure it out or have it perfect. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and then we just got like the little Starbucks packets and put it in there with it. Um, and so we usually put it in like plastic bags to like store it. Um, so we put like the brownie mix, the chia seeds, and the coffee grounds in there. And then when it was time to make it in the morning, we'd get the bag out, we'd get our empty um, Gatorade bottle. We'd fill it about to right here with a little bit of water because you don't want to just pour it in there. It concretes at the bottom uh, if you just pour the mix right in there without any water. So fill it up to about there with some water, pour the uh, mixture in there, then you pour the other amount of water in there, and then you just shake it up for a really long time. Um, and then you just drink it. It's really good. I really liked it. It got really old for I Jonathan. I got sick of it. Yeah, yeah, he got sick of it, but it's good for your calories. Um, it's good, quick, easy way to get those calories in before you start hiking. Uh, a lot of times I would make it and just drink it as I was hiking. So number two is that there are open hours at hostels. Um, so what that looks like is a some hostels, not all of them will have hours where hikers can just come in um, and hang out. Um, obviously you can't like shower and like do your laundry, but you can hang out there um, and most of the hostels will give you water. Um, so if you just want a place to hang out, also some hostels have this program where you can just shower and um, do a load of laundry and then go off and camp. Um, so there is that for people that are trying to save money. Also there's work for stay. What work for stay is um, a hiker would go into a hostel. Our friend Rascal did this a lot, but she'd go into a hostel and ask them if they needed anyone to do any work for them. So like change sheets, do laundry. If they do say yes, they'll do work for them. Uh, and that will pay for their stay at the hostel. Uh, a lot of times Rascal would just stay in her tent, but there was times that she actually got a really nice bed um, in the hostel. Mm -hmm. So it's really dependent on which one you go to. But that is something to know if you're about to go on a hike. So number three, this is a quick one. Um, and it probably goes without saying, but if you're worried about water and like carrying all this extra weight of water, quick hiker tip for you would just be camel up at a water source. Mm -hmm. So get to a water source, filter your water really quickly and, uh, and like drink a liter or two just there. I mean, if you want to like keep hiking and get more miles in that day, then go for it. But if you're worried about having to carry all this water for a long distance, just camel up and then know where your next source is yeah. and go from there. So it's just a way that you can like cut back on carrying tons of extra water weight. Um, obviously there are going to be times where, um, you're going to need to carry more water. Um, but really that does, that didn't really happen a lot to us where there's a huge distance between water sources. Yeah. So just camel up and go. I think what was really important, when that was really important was when we were in Maine. Um, and I just remember us sitting, me, Flipper, uh, Rascal and Jonathan, just sitting at a uh, water source and just drinking a liter before we went any further. Um, 
and I really enjoyed it. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but it really helped Took a lot to stay, states. <laughs> to stay hydrated. I just got so antsy when I was waiting at a water source. Yeah. I just wanted to go. So it's fine if you do. It's fine if you don't. Actually, so this is another quick hi uh, hiker hack for you. Uh, a lot of people might already know this, but this is a old smart water bottle. A Sawyer water filter will screw right on top of this. And so my dirty bottle's here, clean bottle's here, empty. You just put the Sawyer filter on top and squeeze it into your clean. So that's a really quick and easy way to filter your water. That's all I really needed. Uh, when we made that switch over, I never had any problems with not having enough water. Tip number four, communicate with your trail family or tramley at a resupply. Yep. Uh, there was a lot of times that when <laughs> there was a time where all of us, uh, all six of us um, in our trail family in the beginning, me, Giggles, Jonathan, Smiley, I don't know if Dusty did it, but then Flipper, we all did the chia seed brownie mixture, morning mixture. Um, so we had a ton of extra chia seeds. We all like, one of us would buy chia seeds because you don't need a whole bunch. It is and good. chia seeds come in bulk. Yeah, they come in bulk. So uh, one of us would buy it and then everyone would kind of share the bag. Uh, so that's just one example, but there's plenty of things that you can share with other hikers right. um, if you don't want to carry uh, all this food or all these plastic bags. Um, definitely communicate with your trail family at restocks. Um, all right, so that leads right into another point is Ziploc bags and why we got Ziploc bags. Um, point number five. Point, that's point number five. So Ziploc bags, we use those to organize our food in our food bag. So when it was lunchtime, like all of our lunch food was in one bag. All of our breakfast food was in one bag. All of our snacks in between meals was in one bag. So it's just like you reach in, grab that, and you're good to go. You don't need to scramble through your entire food bag just to find like yeah. a couple different items. It's I all, remember. we just compartmentalized it and. I remember sometimes there's a beef jerky stick at the very bottom of my food bag. And I was just like, where is it? Yeah. So it's easy to just get your bags yeah. out. That so way. that was something we actually learned pretty quickly. Uh, and that's another thing that you can share with your hiker uh, trail family, because there was one time like three of us bought a box of bags when really one box would have been able to split up between all of us. And number five, Ziploc bags uh, can be really helpful. In all ways hiking. That's right. And they're light. They're light. And they're, they're a light. lot cheaper than Z-Packs or anything else like yes. that. And they kind of do the same thing. Yeah. Point number six, your ground sheet can also be used as your uh, rain cover for your pack. Yep. So I saw this actually on Instagram um, and I thought it was a really, really good idea. Um, I didn't do it myself because I already had a pack cover, but if you don't want to invest in a pack cover or if you're looking to go ultra light, uh, you could use, for instance, your Tyvek um, ground cloth. That's another point. Tyvek is really cheap and awesome for waterproofing, um, having a ground sheet under your, um, under your tent. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, so let's say you have a Tyvek sheet. You can also use that as a pack cover um, along with being your ground sheet for your uh, tent. So that's another point. We even tried it ourselves. Don't really know how to rig it, but if somebody can rig it, definitely tell us and uh, put that in the comments so we can know how to use it. I think more people need to know about it. It's a really cool hack. So next point, point number seven. This is gonna be a heel lock lace tie. So um, obviously your feet are gonna swell, your feet are gonna change your shoes are gonna break in, everything like that. If you feel like your heels are like slipping a little bit or you just need to tie your shoes tighter, uh, there's a heel lock tie that you can use that'll just kind of like cinch down uh, your heel into your boot yeah. or shoe or trail runner or whatever it is you're using. Yeah, I used it, I learned how to do it on the first like full day we were on trail and I never went back. I just noticed my my heel was slipping out of my shoe and it was really irritating my heel. I did that heel lock in it, like it saved my it feet. Changed. Yeah, it, it changed everything. It's a game changer. Yeah. We're gonna move back into meals. Um, quick hiker hack when it comes to easy cleanup. A, a really easy way to make sure that like, there's not gonna be a big mess to clean up in your pot is instead of pouring your food into your like boiled water, bo pour the boiled water into your food packet. So your oatmeal will, your oatmeal packets will hold water. So you can just pour the water into that and stir it up into your oatmeal packet. Same thing with Norosides. A lot of them actually have like uh, 
It's kind of like an aluminum liner inside. Yeah. Yeah. And so you can rip it open, pour the hot water in, and then roll it shut. And then all you do, just so it doesn't spill over, is stick it back into your pot in the packaging. So it's zero mess, zero cleanup, and it's just a really quick and easy way uh, to make a dinner that's not gonna taste any different. It's just in your, it's in the packaging. Yeah. No mess. Yeah. Also, I noticed you could also use uh, freezer storage bags um, if you don't do north sides. Um, you could also use a stasher bag, um, but I'm gonna try that on my next backpacking trip and I'll let you know how it goes. Point number nine is heat and beat. Yes, that sounds really weird, but what that is, it's a easy way to clean out your water filter. So a lot of people on trail have the Sawyer squeeze um, and our trail family, uh, shout out to Giggles who actually figured this one out. Uh, what she did was got the water at like a hotel or hostel really, really hot from the faucet, like just scorching hot. And she uh, plunged it with the one that comes. Usually at hostels, there are plungers, so you don't need to bring one with you. That's another little tip. Um, there's usually always a Sawyer plunger at a hostel. Um, not so much- Side tip. Not so much hotels. But, uh, so you plunge it. Um, and then what you do, you do that a couple times with really scorching hot water, and then you would just beat the crap out of your Sawyer squeeze on the side of the sink, and all this gooey brown gunk will come out of there. It's gonna, it's gonna surprise you how much actually comes out of your filter. We tried the regular way of um, like cleaning out your filter just by like using nothing. the plunger, nothing comes out. Yeah. But when you do this, it's like, whoa, that's insane. So point number 10 is uh, try to get doxycycline. Doxycycline. Yeah, try to get some doxycycline before you leave. That's something that we did. I mean, obviously, if you're ultralight and want to cut back on as much as you want, then you might not want to bring a, a thing of pills. But if you have that beforehand, uh, which you can get, like you don't need to have Lyme's disease to get that medication. You can get it beforehand, and so it's already available. I mean, there are ticks out there. You're gonna find ticks on you. So to have that medication already like available to you is saves you a lot of time. It's gonna save you time. It's just hassle. gonna yeah. And so even like you could just have it at your parents' house or something, so they could ship it to you if you ever need it. It's a yeah. it's a lot easier than a trip to the doctor, get a prescription, and then have to wait on it or whatever. I don't know yeah. how it works. We got it beforehand. Yeah. Um, yeah. I simply just asked my doctor when I was getting like my checkup if I could get a prescription for doxycycline. Uh, I told her straight up I'm going on the Appalachian Trail um, and I'm just wondering if I could get some. And she was cool with it. I don't know how other doctors are with that, um, but obviously do your research on the medicine. I think there are some things to note about it. So we're not saying like go out and Take get, doxycycline. Yeah, yeah. so just, just do your research and talk to a doctor before, but it's good to have it available to you yeah. uh, with a doctor's advisement. Point number 11. Use a tent stake or your trekking pole as a trowel. This is from Smiley again. Um, also, Dusty did it a lot too. But they use a tent stake or um, a trekking pole to dig up a cat hole instead of uh, carrying the extra weight of a trowel. We already had a trowel, so we didn't really find the need in sending it home and just using our tent stake. Um, but that is good if you are considering bringing one or not. You do have options there. Point number 12 is our final point. Uh, sleep with your batteries and sleep with your filters. Uh, this is really important when it's cold. When it's not cold, it's not really all that important. By sleeping with your battery, it's just gonna prevent the really cold conditions to like- Drain the battery. Drain the battery. And then same thing with your filter. Uh, if your filter freezes, it's actually gonna be defective and it's not really gonna filter, yeah, but there's no way of you to know that. Yeah. There's no way of you to know that until maybe you're sick. So uh, sleep with those while on cold nights. I have one last point for y'all. Hiker hack number 13, have fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Have fun. Have fun. It really is, it's great. Don't make this a job. This isn't on our list, but I just thought of this randomly. Have fun. Yeah. Yeah. But that All is right. it. That is it for today. We were so glad to share our little hiker hacks with you and our trail family's hiker hacks. We hope they help you on your through hike or your next backpacking trip. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, for any other hiker hacks that you think are really cool that you used, definitely please comment in the comment section because I mean, it's always cool to learn more hacks. Yeah. And it's like a light bulb that yeah, turns it's on. Like, oh, I have so, yeah. all right, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
do 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 I'm sitting in like a sunk part oh, of the chair. Oh, are you? See, I'm not. You're not. This is where people's butts go.